All right, hey there, Prox Gaming crew, and this is Prox Five here. We're back for some more of the Sword of War Golden Let's Play. If you didn't miss out during the last one, well, we had to go and do some social linking, and we're still going to do that here in this set episode as well. But, however, we are going to have to go and do a main story part of the game too, because we are going to be in this month of September, so that does have to happen with the other school that we're going to have to do a transfer with for the next couple of days. So, I don't know exactly what this whole uh, field trip of the second school is going to be all happening. I know that uh, we kind of got a little bit of information so far with our group that we've been talking around with, with all of our different members on our team. And uh, yeah, we'll just have to see what happens here in this set episode. Uh, but within these two videos for today, not only are we just going to be doing it out here with the course of Persona 4 Golden, but we're also going to have to do some things in Final Fantasy X. Currently right now in Final Fantasy X, we are going to have to go and try to make an entrance inside Sin. But before we can even go and make an entrance on into uh, Sin at this point in time, well, we have to go and basically battle out Sin himself. And uh, we have to fight all the different body parts of Sin because currently right now we have to go through the different wings of Sin. And then we also have to go through some sort of other part of Sin. There's like different phases that we have to go and do before we can even enter on into the last type of uh, destination in there and uh now mind you i don't know if i'm gonna probably be going and using yojimbo in other certain parts but i don't really feel like i really want to use yojimbo because it just feels like that's like just like the instant knockout button and i only do that unless if there's like an enemy that is like super ungodly annoying uh like unlike uh ultima weapon there that we had to go and fight like for the second attempt but i don't know we'll see what else that goes on from this but uh, currently right now, as you guys go and see, uh, Dojima, uh, we're actually doing a socializing with him right now. And uh, he's still going on and talking about uh, his wife. And it seems like uh, whatever happened throughout there with that call, it seems like the uh, test results when it came back. But they didn't really find anything else that happened. Uh, there's only like some clues right now that Dojima somewhat knows that I guess it was some sort of international person that went and... Uh, came across here at Inaba and basically hit uh, the wife that was in the car with the collision and that's basically all that we really do know at this point so probably we will be learning a little bit more there's still more things to go and do with Dojima so we're not going to be finished with him anytime soon at this point but uh, we'll uh, see what happens later on throughout the game um, now, mind you, I do want to let you guys know on one thing, and that is that currently right now, on this day that I'm recording this video here, it is going to be October 4th of 2024, and that does mean that tomorrow is going to be the awesome day of the Bad Blood PLE that is going to be happening for WWE, and uh, I did hear some things that it seems like uh, Drew McIntyre and CM Punk are going to be the ones that are opening up the uh, said show, which that's a little bit weird to me because I really wanted the Hell in the Cell to be somewhat of an end story thing instead of having it being like an opening type of way of the PLE. But mind you, um, there was some other rumors and speculations that apparently The Rock is going to be making his return. So maybe that's why uh, they kind of had to like kind of do some shuffling around or something. And that's why they wanted to have... Uh, the the whole Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns situation versus the bloodline to make its way as like the end portion part of it because normally anytime that there's like a bloodline match they always kind of like to leave it as like somewhat of like a main event special at like the very end of everything because you never know what type of crap is going to be happening from there right and uh, stick it to, uh, well, actually, yeah, yeah. so stay tuned uh, for anything that is going to be happening uh, for what me, my friend Kevin, and Joseph are going to be doing uh, because there is going to be some new things in the work that uh, we're going to try to do some other videos for you guys because right now, currently, um, we're going to be uh, doing, well, somewhat of a new type of series soon, and that is going to be known as the newer Super Mario Bros. series. It's basically like uh, an expansion of like the Wii version, but with added extra customized levels to it, which is pretty cool, and uh, hope you guys will be able to go and check it out. I have been trying to get another friend to also go and join alongside within the series, just so that uh, having four people, I think, would probably be really fun with the new Super Mario Bros. game, so uh, we'll stay tuned for that if anything does happen. I will be crossing my fingers so that we can get myself with a fourth person on the on the channel which that would be really cool to see um but not only that but of course we do have we party there is that bonus episode series that i do want to go and do for right now for that one said part of the uh for the Proxify plays, and uh, that will be that whole three and one, or three versus one, or some sort of like three player free mode situation that happens within Wii Party, which is actually pretty cool. 
besides, I'm pretty sure they have convenience stores in Port Island. Now, there is uh, some sort of school that's known as Gecko Dawn or something like that. That's the, the new school that we're going to have to go and check around with. And uh, now, mind you, if you guys are kind of curious, Teddy will be showing up alongside with us. I know that he's like currently not really a student, I don't think. He kind of just like shows up from time to time within the school. and just says that he is like a part of the actual school system itself, but... In reality, he's he's just <laughs> some person that just likes to just show up to random places. <laughs> now, I think around over here, at some point, we will be seeing uh, Nayato again and uh, see what else is going to be strange around over here. Because I'm pretty sure at some point, we will have to see uh, something that will be going on with Nayato. Because I believe he is going to be, well, from what I'm assuming so far, from what I have been looking up on other different things, is that it seems like Nayato could be the next potential person that will be uh, sending himself into the uh, Midnight Channel here. What the heck? And Kaji just runs away like a wild guy. Like, he's not really a PI detective anymore, Kaji, so I don't think he's there just trying to snoop up on everything, up, uh, up on that there. But yeah, if you ever did miss out uh, during the last episode, though, uh, we did go and meet up with Cal. Uh, we haven't really seen that guy for quite some time, and I'm glad that we were able to go and meet up with him again. Uh, I know that we're getting almost very close to be finishing done with the Cal there and trying to build up the rest of that other said ranking for that part. But uh, here we are now with uh, Kanji once again, and I believe that is our main part that we're going to do right now before we start taking on this whole said field trip area, because we do want to make sure to build up on more with Kanji here. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. But, uh, oh right, yeah, that does remind us that we still have this girl here. Now, if you guys re uh, remember that during the said last episode, we did see her before when we were going to just go and talk it over here to Chie. But yeah, so just like how uh, the other different other quests has happened from before, there is going to be certain different situations that we are going to have to see her later. And uh, we will have to try and make sure that she will be able to speak better, I guess. And that will be the whole entire way of us trying to uh, get ourselves with another Enma quest all set and finished out here for that one there. So yeah, so we'll try to give her some tips as best as we can so that she doesn't have to be saying other type of weird words or saying other things that are just going to mess her up with their speaking. But anyways, uh, she just went off and disappeared into thin air, but we'll see her again at some point. So yeah, so down over towards to the practice building we go. We already know where Kanji is, so he's already right here. So uh, let's see what's going to happen here. Let's go and spend some free time with Kanji for the afternoon. Yeah. Now for this said particular part here with Kanji is, is that uh, we're going to be seeing that little kid again, I want to say. That was during the uh, hospital situation. I believe if you guys vaguely remember. I know that uh, Kanji's mom had to go to the hospital and all that other different stuff that was happening. Well, that same kid is actually going to be right around over here. But instead, uh, something happened with his uh, stuff like type of plushie or something. And uh, we have to go and try to search for it. But We'll see if we can go and put our uh, detective sleuthing uh, hats on and see if we can be able to hopefully at least somewhat help out with the uh, with the kid here. And I think uh, he already just wanted to just spot it out uh, where this kid is going to be. But I know that Kaji doesn't really have the best type of way with uh, talking to other strangers because uh, normally he kind of likes to just uh, always like to try to pick a fight with somebody or getting really aggressive in other situations here <laughs> yeah so it seems like uh it was like a stuffed bunny or something and i guess it like fell into the river or somewhere around there we have to go and try to look for it but not to worry we could go and hopefully try to at least find something like that <laughs> so uh I don't know. It doesn't really matter what type of text dialogue that you go and do. I think I went and just chose like the top one instead. So uh, <laughs> we'll just uh, go for that one here. Yeah, I think by this time now, I think it doesn't really matter exactly what type of other text dialogue that you could go and try to at least get yourself with. 
because I haven't really seen too much of other t other type of like text dialogue throughout the part of like the main story and other stuff that will give you extra more stat boosting. I haven't really seen that happen all that too much recently. I think there was like, I want to say like the last one that did happen, like for any type of text dialogue that actually did give us some sort of a boost was I guess with Rize and that was about it. So I don't know if that's just going to be like the, the thing is, is that every time that we go and talk to Rize, we're going to try to flatter her or something and then that will give us like an extra more like boost of like courage or something. So I think we're almost said and done here within uh, Kanji's social linking. So yeah, unfortunately it seems that for right now in this particular way, we haven't really found out where this said stuff bunny is going to be. But hey, you know what? At least we tried. And uh, uh, yeah, unfortunately sometimes whenever you lose something in the river, if it gets way too deep into the bottom of that said place, you may possibly never get to go and find it again. Because it could possibly get, get washed away in an undertow or something or whatever. But this is a riverbank, so I wouldn't think that there is an undertow there, is there? <laughs> but it looks like we got ourselves a brand new move for Kanji. So that does mean that at any point in time, when we get ourselves with another level up and get another move set going on, uh, we will have to try and change out on some stuff. But I normally kind of don't really like that all the time. I just wish that, like, enemies always had, like, a whole list of, like, different attacks that you could go and do without having the means of actually trying to, like, change some stuff around. Because, like, I kind of, because, like, for me personally is, is that, like, with Pokemon for that matter is, is that, like, if there's, like, a really good move that's, like, on a said Pokemon and you really want to keep it, then you only have, like, four different suggestions on trying to change out with anything if there is a, a, another new set of uh, moves coming around. Whoa, what's up with this place? This Just wish that you were able to have, like, more set of Pokemon moves, like, at least, like, have, like, an extra additional, like, two other type of move sets or something. So this is the uh, the GeckoCon principle here. I'd like to start with a proverb. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. well that's an interesting proverb, but yeah. Oh, is this principal in love with his own Probably. Chie, <laughs> he'll hear you. School is closed today. But we will be meeting uh, someone new that will be at, well for here at the school though, and uh, that new type of set person will be over to the principal's left hand side here, and uh, she'll be interacting with us for a little bit. Thank you, principal. Now I think at some point around over here she gives us like some sort of like uh, I guess like a schedule or something for what our group is going to be all doing about here for the next couple of days. It's an honor to meet you all today. Holy crap. Oh my god. Yosuke's uh, uh, girl meter is going off the charts now once again. She's the most bewitching, bespectacled beauty I've ever beheld. You guys, stop overreacting. This is the first time our school has invited another student body for a true cultural... Like, I don't really know about this whole, like, cultural type of stuff that's going on between these two schools. I guess it's, like, probably learning more of, like, how they go and interact on their side of the school. Like, type of district here or something. So let us enjoy our time together. Thank you very much. She beat me in every category. All right. Everyone get into groups with your classmates. All right. Well, I guess we already are in our group already here. <laughs> that already kind of made uh, made a lot of sense right there. Excuse me. Could I bother you for a moment? Yeah. So uh, Chihiro, I believe that's what her name is, is gonna go and uh, pass along us with all these papers here, which that'll give us the uh, the schedule. I think it seems like. Well, pretty soon, uh, in my college, uh, we are going to have to go and uh, start doing the reading week that's going to be around within my way. And every time that whenever there's always like a reading week, I'm always like super excited for, for when that happens is because then I have like all the free time that I need to do, like catch up on my uh, on my other different videos that I need to go and get finished with, uh, try to do like other uh, 
like other type of like do other type of videos with some of my other like co-op things with some of my other friends that I need to do with. I know that currently right now, um, me and Christopher Drakrow, if you guys don't know who he is, he is a uh, collab partner of mine, uh, that me and him, that we like to go and uh, do some Pokemon stuff. I believe this is actually going to be the last of the set of Pokemon things that we are going to do, because unfortunately for me, is, is that I'm kind of moving out a little bit towards uh, on to doing like other different things other than Pokemon, but me and Chris, we're going to try and do the Dreadlock as best as we can so that we can at least somewhat finish it as well. And uh, I know that there's going to be uh, some other things that uh, we'll have to do some more recordings with. So at least that would be a good enough time for that said reading week so that I can at least be able to go and take care of that as well, too. So when's our free period? Probably not for a while. What? There is no free period? Come on, man. We have classes all through today. Tonight and tomorrow we'll be staying at Which we will be learning about the hotel at some point, which, uh, apparently for whoever this professor is that is not King Morin anymore, we got some sort of weird type of hotel. guys. Let's focus on our studies for now so we can enjoy our free time later. Alright, and I think we are just getting ourselves into the way of a lecture here in our first part of the said school. Like, I have to say, like, this type of school classroom kind of almost feels in a way of, like, how Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is. Because, <laughs> like, I know that, um, in that one particular, like, uh, DLC or something, right? I think in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, I think it was for the first one, I think? The Kamigawa one or something? Uh, yeah, the island or Isle of whatever it is. Like, I'm pretty certain that, uh... During for that area there, there's like this classroom that kind of almost looks exactly like it. Because I think it was like for, uh, for like fossils or something like that. Alright, so, uh, let's just go and, uh, get on out of that classroom. <laughs> Don't really want to feel like getting more lectures that I already need to go through. <laughs> Let me tell you, I've been through... Enough lectures already throughout my college that I don't need to hear any more that's coming from the game, too. <laughs> like, I swear, like, this type of seaside clamshell in, like, the way that this, like, like, for what the professor is going to be literally talking about here, like, throughout this, well, for what this place is going to be, seems like it's, like, some sort of, like, um, like, I, I forget what the word is, because, like, I know that they made a movie before out of it. And, uh, it's like a really weird type of, like, type of situation. Like, like, I think it's known as, like, a hostel? I think it's, is that what it's called? A hostel or something? Like, H-O-S-T-E-L, I think? It's, it's basically, like, something like that type of, like, type of thing. It's like, there's, like, a whole bunch of, like, weird, like, I guess very, like, sexy sex type of stuff that happens here. <laughs> about this place is there we don't have these modern hotels in Inaba so I can't tell um this area is called Shirakawa Boy oh so it looks like uh even Rize already knows well because of course right because it's like both her and that said professor are like both models right so you would probably expect that they would probably know something more about this hotel than we don't that we don't really already know right Oh, and that sounds like Teddy, of course. What the heck? It's Teddy, and he's chilling around with some cats up there. Uh, that did not sound good. It sounded like he just, like, broke some trash or, like, broke something. <laughs> I guess Teddy is like someone of like uh, of like Link from Legend of Zelda. You know, he could do like all these insane jumps and then not even break his legs. Only I could detect people in the real world. How did you get here? Do you have some special ability? <laughs> his special ability is that he went and took his legs and then walked onto a train and then showed up exactly right here. Oh yeah, that does remind us is that I believe Yosuke at this point in time has Ted as like his roommate or something like that, right? In his house. Why wear the bear suit here? I almost got thrown in the trash a couple of times. People always treat Teddy wrong, man. Come on now. 
But we should be probably be a little bit careful with Teddy walking around here. Because, you know, like, uh, people are going to probably start trying to notice exactly about what's going on with Teddy. <laughs> Let's all go together then. Is that all right with you? <laughs> so now he's gonna be hanging out with all the girls once again. That ladies' man. Shopping first, and I know a great place we can hit later on. Ooh, shopping! That sounds great. The other students don't know Port Island that well, so they're just gonna go wherever the school recommends. Well, I guess the shopping spree beats a factory tour. So we'll have to go and check around with all of that later, I think, for the next episode. Now, before the fun starts, we gotta deal with this guy. Can't you sleep outside for the night? That suit should keep you nice and cozy. Oh, well, that's not nice. Maybe you should at least let Teddy just at least stay throughout the hotel. Like, just, just hide himself, like, very sneakily around over there. Kids aren't bickering about your room allocations, are uh -oh. you? Uh-oh. Crap! What's the matter? Oh! What's this giant <laughs> So I guess you could go and say anything, really. You could say, like, I made it in class, a sharp... Uh, a bear that, that that's like the size of a backpack, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna just say that this is our backpack. <laughs> right, now hurry on inside with it. By the way, these rooms are amazing. Every room has a waterbed. But, uh, water bed, huh? <laughs> I think I've only laid on one water bed before. And that was not really a pleasant experience. I I I kind of like having a, just a regular normal bed because like just having a water bed just really feels like super uncomfortable and like just trying to move around with having water all like inside the actual like bed itself like you would not sleep right. Wow, he is really trying to act really good around over here, trying to not get caught. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to end off the episode for today. Thank you guys so much for watching over here at Persona 4 Golden. See you guys for Final Fantasy X when we get on into that. And of course, peace.